I want to talk about my review on full body training. As you know, I did a three day split, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, where I trained my whole body every day. And I just wanted to share my thoughts on 24 hour splits. I really, really enjoyed different training methodologies and trying different things. Um, one thing you have to say is I am very open-minded, so I wanted to give it a shot. Now, the first thing I wanted to mention is why I did Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Why not every single day? So let me give you my honest, honest opinion on that. I believe that when somebody has been training for a while, let's say they're at intermediate level, I believe that you have to train with some level of intensity to continue to improve. That level of intensity doesn't need to be off the wall crazy, every set to failure, but there does need to be some intensity. And what that means to me is you need to be able to recover, okay? So if I train even with a medium level of intensity on Monday, I may or may not be recovered by Tuesday. So even with me toning down my normal intensity, I still don't feel like 24 hours is enough to recover. So I chose to do every other day. Um, so let me expound on training your full body every single day. So first of all, I really enjoyed it. It was fun, it was a cool little experiment. And listen, it was only one week. So I can't sit here and say, this works, this doesn't work. I only gave it a week. Realistically, I would need to have given it six weeks, 12 weeks, but there's some things that I think are pretty basic that I can share with you regardless, even if I only did it for one week. So number one, if you train with any level of intensity, I just don't believe that 24 hours is enough to fully recover. Now, so what, you, what your response might be is, well, John, don't go hard. You need to leave a lot of reps in the tank. Four reps, five reps, six reps in a tank. And I have a problem with that. Like me personally, even if I'm not going to failure, I've never been in the middle of a set where I said, okay, I've got about five reps left. That just seems very arbitrary. And, it's, and I'm in my 35th year of training. And I'm still going to have a hard time figuring out when I have, say, five reps left. That's going to be very difficult to do, let alone for an intermediate or a beginner, okay? So leaving that many reps in the tank, I just don't know that that, I just don't know that that's a good idea. Now, maybe you could say you should use percent-based training. You know, do 80% of your one rep max. That'd probably be a better idea. So if your answer to me is, well, you're going too hard, you need to leave a lot of reps in the tank, I don't really know what that looks like. And here's what else I would say. In order for you to grow, to create an adaptation, you have to activate the muscle. And a lot of people think just simply activating it is stimulating it enough to grow. You also have to load the muscle hard and you have to exhaust the fibers. And you don't need to demolish them, you don't need to kill them, but there has to be a level of activation, loading and exhausting. So for me to be able to do every single day, I can't even come close to exhausting the muscle fibers. So for me, somebody that's intermediate or advanced, I just don't see this being productive. I do think it would be fantastic for beginners. A beginner doesn't need to kill themselves. There's no reason to go to failure. As a beginner, you want to learn how, how to train with proper form, number one. So what I love about the, the full body training, doing it every single day, is you can potentially use a lot of movements and you can get a lot of practice perfecting your form on different movements. I think that's a very good thing. I think that's excellent. And for that reason, I really do like full body training for beginners. You can work on compound movements, uh, muscles all working together. You can work on isolation movements. So you really start to learn how it feels for the muscle to contract. You know, some people say, well, you know, just deadlift for your back. Well, deadlifts, you don't really feel an awesome lat contraction. That's gonna require a row. So I like a variety of exercises. Now, so for a beginner, you know, I think Full body training every day. So full body training every day, I think would be pretty good for a beginner. Now, let's think about it for the way I did it. I did it every other day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I was able to apply a little bit of intensity. I didn't go too crazy. Some says I took the failure, some I didn't. I was very um, aware of how much work I was doing. And I think it worked pretty well. Like if you followed during the week, I wasn't overly sore. My lifts felt really good. Even on my Friday workout, my chest pressing was really strong. You saw the 180s coming up really good. So 
at the end of the week, I wasn't completely fatigued. So I think that there are some good applications for an intermediate full body But I would call it every other day. I, th I think that gives you as an intermediate, you can apply a little of intensity. And I think we would all agree that training really, really hard, a lot of sets of failure every single day for every body part, it's just not workable for novice and intermediate or advanced. It's, that's, that model doesn't work for anybody because it, you know, people talk about protein synthesis all the time, but they never talk about muscle protein breakdown. If you don't recover, you can't make progress. So you have to recover. All right, so you've got to build that in your models. You've got to stop thinking, well, protein synthesis is for 24 to 48 hours. The people that you hear saying that, they're totally neglecting the recovery part. And that's why I'm saying this belongs here because you don't really need any recovery. You're not training hard enough. But if you ratchet up the intensity a little bit, now you can do this, but now you need a little more recovery. So now there's a lot of people that will say, well, John, I'm focusing on one body part each time and I'm really not focusing on the other body parts. Well, you're kind of just doing warm-ups then. You're kind of just getting some blood in the muscle. And for a natural, that is not going to make you grow. It's not going to work. You can't come in, just do a couple sets of curls, even if you do it every day, and expect your arms to grow. Um, if you think about the guys who, like in, um, you know, like I used to run a jackhammer in school uh, when I worked in high school. And, you know, my forearms started getting bigger from the work every day. But I was exhausting the muscles. I was doing it hour after hour after hour. I wasn't just coming in and doing 10 reps on a wrist curl and leaving. Okay, so just a little stimulation every day isn't enough for most people to grow. It only applies to beginners. Once you hit intermediate and advanced, you have to, not, again, not only activate and load the muscle, you have to give it some level of exhaustion, okay? Now... What about these other types of programs? So what about like an upper or lower body split? I like those a lot, by the way. Those would go to me, probably right there, and potentially right here. And if you really wanted to ratchet down the intensity, it can even work right here. So for an upper lower body split, I'm thinking Monday and Thursday for upper body, Tuesday and Friday for lower body. So that's workable no matter what level you're at. You just have to adjust your intensity uh, in order to fit it where you want. If you're a beginner, nothing to failure. If you're an intermediate, maybe you do a couple sets to failure. If you're advanced, maybe you do a couple sets to failure and then maybe a couple set or two beyond failure. So an upper lower split, I feel like will work pretty much in any level of experience you have. You just have to adjust the intensity. So, and then you look at things like you know, push-pull legs. Uh, I would say the same thing with like a push-pull leg workout. Same thing, you know, you're still hitting the muscle twice a week. And by the way, I think twice a week is pretty solid. Uh, three times a week, I like to do sometimes, uh, but even when I do that, I ratchet down the intensity on the other body parts. I only focus on a couple. Anyways, so push-pull split, same thing. It could work in any category. It just depends on the intensity. The higher the intensity, the more, you better be more advanced. So in other words, you don't want to come out of the gate with a push-pull leg split with crazy high intensity if you're a beginner. You should be doing that if you're advanced, okay? You know, and then you get into, I know I'm kind of going off on the deep end here about different. I just want to give you some frame of reference on how I think all these splits work. Um, then if you look at like um, the, the three on one off, four on one offs. You know, those tend to be the, the traditional bodybuilding splits, you know, three and one, four and one. Those tend to be more for intermediate and advanced. And, but I want to explain why, uh, so you get an understanding of this. When you start to get into these intermediate, particularly the advanced stages, that exhausting the muscle fibers becomes even more important because Think about it, you've been training, in my case, I've been training for 35 years. If I go and do the same thing that I did 10 years ago or 20 years ago, probably not gonna do me a whole lot of good. If I go in and I just do some light work every day on a body part, let's just say I come in and do four sets of 10 of curls every day, it's probably not gonna do anything because it's just not enough load and intensity for the muscle. So as you get more advanced, you're gonna to have to add different exercises, different angles. 
Your chest workout's gonna have to go from one or two exercises to three or four. Your back workout's gonna have to go from one or two exercises to three or four. You can't just do one exercises for your legs. You can't just do squats. What's, how are you gonna grow your, your hamstrings? You can't just do deadlifts for your back. How are you gonna grow your lats? So you have to start using more angles to develop a full muscle belly. And that's what these other more bodybuilding type splits allow you to do. So people can laugh at them, you know, and say they, they, they don't work. And, and by the time you get to the third or fourth exercise, you're exhausted. Hey, that's part of it, man. You've got to suck it up and you've got to be intense. If you start getting a little tired and you run out of gas, you haven't built up enough. I mean, if you do leg curls and you're too tired to squat, then there's a problem there. That, that's not, there's nothing wrong with that sequence. You're just not, you haven't, you're just not tough. I don't know how else to say it. You've got to, you've got to work up to higher intensities. There's no way around it. So anyways, I want to give you some perspective on as you get more advanced to me, that's when you start adding more volume and more intensity. Uh, that's that end of the spectrum. And where if you're less advanced, then you can touch stuff more often, but you can't use nearly the same intensity because why? Because you just can't recover. If you, if you, if you don't train very hard so that you don't need to recover, again, for a beginner, that's great. Anything you do will help, but it's just not gonna work for an, for an advanced person. So I think for, I guess I could sum this up by saying for a full body workout every single day. And by the way, if you say, well, I'm not really training my chest on Tuesday and Thursday, then it's not a full body workout. You're doing a split. I'm talking about your whole body every single day. All right, so full body every day, I think is probably good for novices. I think full body every other day, which is what I did this week, is, is pretty good for intermediates. Um, I would probably prefer an upper lower. The one thing I can say is this, just in all honesty, on Monday when we did our upper body, we finished with legs. When we got the legs, honestly, I was kind of like, oh my God, now we got to do legs. And then on Wednesday, after the heavy squats, it was like, okay, man, now I got to do my whole upper body. So that's pretty tough. And again, if your answer is you're going too hard, you need to lower the intensity. Okay, then now you're telling me to train like a novice and that's not going to work for me, all right? Common sense, all right? This is stuff you can't learn in the book. Years of experience will teach you this. So, you know, for intermediate, I tend to like the push-pull legs, uh, the upper-lower splits. I think, the, I think the full body split would be good actually for active recuperation. So let's say you're doing like a, a more of a traditional bodybuilding split where you annihilate the muscle. And listen, I have times where, man, I've went hard for six or eight weeks and I need to pull back. I, when I come to the gym, I don't want to go to failure or anything. So that's a great opportunity to, to employ a full body split, lower intensity, act, you know, keep the muscles working at, at a maintenance level. So I think um, it's good for that reason as well. Now, I do want to say this too, because at the end of the day, there's two things that need, to be, that need to happen. You need to enjoy your split. If you love full body splits and it's working for you, keep doing it. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody. When you find something that works for you, keep doing it ride that puppy just keep riding it if it works it feels awesome keep doing it you know there's there's a thing that I, I i'm a big believer in called the principle of individuality all right we're all a little different we all respond a little different okay so remember that something's working for you if you're if you're a natural guy and you're doing a bro split and it's working for you a lot of people might laugh at you but hey if it's working who cares if it's working roll with it might not be how i would structure your training but if i see something's working for you who am I to say do something else, all right? So um, just remember that. Uh, you, you've got to enjoy it. You've got to have fun. Um, if you don't enjoy it, you're probably going to quit. You're not going to get too many results. So those are just some of my thoughts. I wanted to talk about lack of intensity, where it fits in, the value of full body splits. I do think there's a lot of value kind of in this area here. Um, I hope you found this informative. 